Hey guys, welcome to another five minute Friday. What we're doing today is we're spinning fire and it's gonna look just like this. G'day guys, Shane here. Welcome to Five Minute Fridays. Every week I go through all my old photos and I work out things that I've done with DSLR, some really cool tricky photos and I work out ways that we can do it on your phone. Today is no different. So if you're into mobile photography and you're interested about learning about mobile photography, subscribe to this channel. I do two videos every week, one on a Monday, Five Minute Fridays, every Friday. Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you're one of the first people to know what we're doing and let's get into it. So one of the things that really mucks us around when it comes to astrophotography is the moon and clouds and tonight we've got both of those bloody things. There's not a star in the sky, so we're doing something different. We're spinning fire. I've always done this with uh, regular DSLR cameras. Uh, but I've never done it with a phone, so we're gonna give it a go. Now, what we're doing here is fairly dangerous, so be very buddy careful. If you've got nice long hair, get yourself covered up or you're gonna have a haircut like mine. What you're gonna need is long sleeves on, long pants on, you're going to need your phone, you're going to need a phone holder, you're going to need a tripod, you're going to need a whisk, you're going to need some steel wool, you're going to need a lighter, and you're going to need a rope. What we're using here is a bit of, what is this? It's a bit of hay, hay twine, baling twine. We're a farm, there's lots of it hanging around. I've see also here, what I've done is I've thrown a, a couple of uh, nuts on there just to add a little bit more weight. So as we're spinning this thing, it's going to spin nice and quick. All right, how are we gonna do it with the phone? So, what we're gonna use as far as the camera goes, we're going to use the Slow Shutter app. It's one of my favorite apps. We haven't really used it for light painting, or we have used it for light painting, but we haven't done it for this. That's the photo I just took three minutes ago. So, when it comes to the Slow Shutter app, what we've got here is the gear icon down the bottom. You want to change that to light trails. So, instead of being on motion blur or low light, you want it to be on light trails. This is what they use for taking photos of car lights, tail lights and stuff, up and down highways. We're going to use it to spin the fire. Uh, the shutter speed, we want to leave it at 30 seconds. It's going to give us enough time to wind up the speed to take the photo. Next thing you want to do is ISO, leave it on auto. It's not going to hurt. Light sensitivity, leave it to one quarter and we're good to go. So that's how you set up the app. So let's take some photos. First, there's three different ways, possibly four, that you'd look at doing this sort of photography. One is when you're spinning this thing, spin it straight up and down in a circle to your side. That's one way to do it and you're kind of facing the camera. Another way to do it is facing perpendicular to the camera, so you're looking directly away from it, spinning the ball here, and there's sparks going out everywhere that way. And then the third way is to do it above your head and spin it around like that photo there. And we will hit the shutter. It's gonna count down. I'll move out here to the middle. And I'll light the fire. It's already burning. Let's start spinning. And we're done. All right, this one here, we're gonna spin it back towards the camera. It's counting down, move out to the middle here. It's taking a photo, light the fire, and off we go. This time, we're going to spin it above our head. Light the fire. Let's do it. That's it. All done. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad either. 
All right, guys, that is fire spitting, and it's a bloody heap of fun. So get out there, give it a go yourself. Word of warning, do it with two people so that one can spin the fire and take the photos and the other one can run around putting out any fires that you might start. Be safe, and I'll see you next week.